Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Xinhua Live. This is Mike, and today we are going to take you to southwest Pakistan's Gwadar port, which has the potential to become a commercial and trade hub of the region thanks to the commencement of the Free Zone Initiative by Pakistan's government, with the help of substantial investment from China. What you are seeing now are some aerial imagery from the port, and in just a short while, our cameras will bring you some close-ups of the newly developed Free Zone. The first phase of Gwadar Port's Free Zone, inaugurated last Monday by Pakistan's Prime Minister Shahid Khan Abbasi, who commented that the Free Zone will help facilitate regional and global trade under the China-Pakistan Economic Corridor, also abbreviated as the CPEC. In his address at the ceremony held in Gwadar, Prime Minister Abbasi offered high praise and said that every harbor needs a free zone to boost its development, and that Gwadar's free zone will link Pakistan with China and Central Asia, adding that Gwadar's potential was rediscovered through the construction of the free zone. On the shores of the Arabian Sea in the western province of Balochistan, the Gwadar port is a strategically located port to ensure increasing trade in the region. Gwadar port is situated at the mouth of the Persian Gulf, just outside the Strait of Hormuz, touching the key shipping routes in and out of the Persian Gulf. China Overseas Ports Holding Company, or COPHC, took over the operation of the port in 2013. Since then, the COPHC has worked with the local government and Chinese organizations to help improve living conditions in Gwadar, including the installation of desalination facilities to provide a million gallons of drinking water to local residents. Gwadar is also the southern end of the China-Pakistan Economic Corridor, which was proposed by Chinese Premier Li Keqiang during a visit to Pakistan in 2013. The 3,000 kilometer long corridor starts from China's Kashgar and ends at Gwadar. It connects the Silk Road Economic Belt in the north and the 21st century Maritime Silk Road in the south. It's a trade network of highways, railways, pipelines, and optical cables, and a flagship project under the Belt and Road Initiative. Meanwhile, in the business sector, the first Gwadar International Expo kicked off in the Free Zone and has attracted business people from Iran, China, Afghanistan, Saudi Arabia, Oman, and many other countries involved in the Belt and Road Initiative. During the expo, the COPHC and the Balochistan local government signed a contract to provide water to local residents and other agreements between cities from China and Pakistan are anticipated on the further development of Gwadar. We have our Xinhua correspondent at the scene where in just a short while he will be speaking to some of the vendors at the expo. Now, Prime Minister Abbasi further pointed out that the significant bilateral project of the China-Pakistan Economic Corridor is the most important initiative nowadays in Pakistan and gave the country sustainable energy projects to overcome its energy crisis, adding that the CPEC is also an opportunity for the entire region. Speaking on the same occasion, Zhang Baozhong, chairman of the China Overseas Ports Holding Company, Pakistan, uh, also abbreviated as COPHC, said with the construction of the free zone, the port city of Gwadar will become a big commercial hub in the region, adding that the development of Gwadar would help to improve Pakistan's overall economy as well as local people's lives. According to the same company, the operator of Gwadar Port, some 30 companies in different businesses such as hotels, banks, logistics, and fish processing have entered the free zone with direct investment of about 474.3 million US dollars and are expected to output annual value of 790.5 million US dollars after full operation. Moreover, the China-Pakistan Economic Corridor project is not confined to the Gwadar port infrastructure construction. China is also aiming to upgrade the 1,300-kilometer thir Karakoram Highway, the highest paved international road in the world, which connects China and Pakistan across the Karakoram Mountains. 
This vision of the economic corridor is expected to have great strategic significance for the development of China, South Asia, and Central Asia, as well as for peace and stability in the region. Without further ado, we will now give the time to our Xinhua correspondent at the scene, where first up he will be interviewing a representative of the Bank El Fala. Thank you very much. Uh, my name is Masood Ahmed Awan. I am uh, presently working as regional business head uh, for Bank Al Fala. I am looking after the business of all of Balochistan and the Sindh branches. Uh, our bank, Bank Al Fala, started its operation in Pakistan in, in the year uh, 1997, and after that, till date, we are in the uh, in the market in the operation, and we have presently more than 650 branches. We have a branch in Gawadar which was opened in the year 2004. Since that, we are operations in operation here in Gawadar, which is a very good branch because the business in the Gawadar is uh, going good since last 10 to 15 years, and the things are developing. That's why our business is also flourishing here as well. Here, here in Gawadar, we have a very good business here. We have, as I told you before, that we had opened our branch in the year 2004, and after that, we are giving full all kind of services. Can, including the consumer services, including the uh, uh, trade business, including the uh, financing, everything we are giving. Uh, we, have, we have a, a company's accounts, we have individual accounts, we have everything here. Besides, we have opened our branches on the main trade route to Afghanistan. That is from starting from the Gilead till Gawadar. We have covered the route and we have the branches all over there. And we are giving full services to, the, to all our customers. The Gawadar and the free zone are the important parts because as you know that the Gawadar will be the hub of business activity in future. Like it will be for Pakistan, it will be like Hong Kong or Dubai or something like that. The future of Pakistan is in Gawadar because it's the main opening in the sea and every activity started from here will go through the Central Asia to China and will link the one belt, one road. And the Gawadar itself has developed uh, much since the last few, because we are uh, here since last 12, 13 years, we know that the Gawadar has developed much. Uh, infrastructure has developed, uh, government has uh, invested a lot of money in it. Besides, the Chinese companies are working very aggressively here. They have built a very state of art, that business uh, center here, and the Gawadar port they have developed. A lot of positive things are happening there. And I see that the Gawadar is the, definitely the future of Pakistan, not only in Pakistan, but the future of Central Asia and a very friendly relation with China. The main hub of all business activities. And it will uh, cater the needs of the, for Pakistan, for China, and for the Central Asia. It will link to the one belt, one road. That's why we, as a bank club, we had established a department that is China Business Desk to especially focus the business of this whole uh, activity with China and other things. So in, in Gawadar there will be the industrial units, there will be the trading hub and there will be uh, connecting roads to all over the country, uh, to Iran as well and to Central Asia and to China. So this will develop much in future. It will be the hub of activity and will be the future of Pakistan. Yeah, for our business. Yes. We as a bank seat, it, it is a very important part. That's why we have developed a uh, China business desk in Pakistan okay, to cater all the business, especially with the Chinese companies. And we have hired a Chinese staff as well, who, who is very aggressively coordinating with us and with the Chinese companies coming to Pakistan. And we are giving them our best services. We are trying to give them our best services as a bank. And our, we have uh, our, all of our, our branches, more than 600 in branches in Pakistan. All branches are very much equipped and uh, ready to work with the companies, especially with the Chinese companies. We have set up our special business unit a year back. That is the China Business Desk for Bank Alphala. And we have uh, a dedicated head of China Business Desk, Mr. Irfan Abdul Malik. He is heading the China De Business Desk unit in Pakistan and Miss uh, Lucy, she is a Chinese citizen. She is working with us as senior relationship manager. So, so we are trying to coordinate Chinese companies working in Pakistan, to coordinate with them and to give our services to all of them. So this business, I think, will help us to establish a very good relationships, business relationship with all the companies. 
and here Expo as well, because we are today in the Expo, I have seen a lot of companies coming here and we are trying to coordinate with them, we are working with them and we have obtained their uh, requirements, we have obtained their names and inshallah after the Expo we will, we will try to contact all of them and to uh, help them for their business in Pakistan. That means the uh, CMI and also the One by the One Road initiative uh, are bringing you, your company a lot of opportunities. Yeah. Right? Yes, and it's right. What, uh, what do you think of, what's your view, how do you view the uh, One by the One Road initiative as well as the CMI? Yeah. The main concept of China is one belt, one road. That will not link only one country, but will link the regions, all the regions, like Asia to Africa to every, all the continents will link. This is a very big initiative and a very big, I think, uh, dream of this thing. So that will help to connect all the companies. CPAC is part of one belt, one road. That will link Pakistan and Gawadar to the One Belt One Road. So the, all the countries that are connected with One Belt One Road will get maximum benefit from this. They will all get benefit. The countries in uh, like uh, African countries like Bangladesh, like uh, Iran, like Afghanistan, every country like Central Asia, they all will be benefited from this because CPAC will directly link to One Belt One Road and One Belt One Road is a very huge, massive a land route, a route to all the countries that will link. So this will definitely bring help to bring all the countries together. Pakistan will can do business with any central country, central Asian country can come to Pakistan, uh, as well as Afghanistan, in African countries and all the other countries that are the members of this one belt, one road. They will be one community in future as well, I think so. Okay. And uh, about this exhibition uh, I've heard that yeah, this exhibition is, I think, the starting point because uh, this they they have brought all the companies of Pakistan and the China Chinese companies here together under the one roof. So we can discuss with each other, we can connect with each other and we can share business ideas with each other. We have also met all the companies here and have obtained their details, their business requirements and now we, when we come back to the, our offices, we will inshallah prepare our homework and we will again connect all these companies and we'll try to solve their all business requirements and we'll give them, try to give them maximum benefit here in Gawadar and all the CPAC route that is from Gawadar to Kashgar, all the cities. We have already covered, as I told you, we have covered all the cities and we have branches all over the country on this, especially this CPAC route. So, so we will try our maximum best to give maximum benefits to the Chinese friends. They are coming here in Pakistan and as well as the Pakistani companies who wish to work there or in Gawadar. We will inshallah give them maximum benefit. And this, this expo is especially a very uh, helpful for all of us because now we know, know each other. Now we have exchanged our cards, we have discussions all, since yesterday we are discussing with the people and we have a lot of made, made, made good friends uh, from China. So, so this will be the starting point or inshallah this will flourish in future and will give a lot of uh, good results. Thanks. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Thank you for that lovely interview with Masood from Bank El Fala at the Gwadar International Expo. For China, the project with Pakistan links China's strategy to develop its western region with Pakistan's focus on boosting its economy, according to Ma Jiali, researcher with the China Institute of Contemporary International Relations, in an interview with Xinhua. The construction of the economic corridor will also help to improve the security situation in the poverty-ridden province of Balochistan in Pakistan, which is on the front lines of the fight against terrorism. China has implemented large-scale cooperation projects with Pakistan on electricity and new energy and has promoted the management of the port of Gwadar. 
Saeed Iftikhar Hussein Babar, secretary of the Pakistan Board of Investment, has commended China for its investment in Gwadar port, including highways connecting the port and eastern coastline of the port, bulwarks of the port, Anchorage dredging, a free trade zone, and the new Gwadar International Airport. Moreover, with the completion of the Gwadar port, it will become a crucial port for landlocked Central Asian countries, such as Afghanistan, Uzbekistan, and Tajikistan, and a transfer center of those countries' cargo transportation to countries such as Sri Lanka, Bangladesh, Iran, Iraq, and other destinations. Next, our correspondent will be interviewing a representative from Aqua Seafood. My name is Ismail Sawa from Aqua Seafood Pasni. So I am exp uh, sales and export manager of my company. Uh, the Aqua Seafood is uh, situated in Pasni near Gawadar, 160 kilometers away from Gawadar, the small city is called Pasni. So Aqua Seafood is uh, export lot kinds of frozen seafood to many countries like uh, China, Korea, Japan and Middle East. We export lot of kinds of frozen seafood like uh, ribbon fish, salt fish, Indian mackerel and uh, sardine. We supply the, our good quality seafood to many countries and very reliable price. So our major items is uh, a very uh, good quality which we catch in our good or own area up uh, Pasini, Gawadar, Jiwani. So this is our catching area. Actually, we have our own boots, which we catch the very huge quantity. Um, one day we pack, uh, one day we pack uh, around one container to container is uh, you can say the huge amount of uh, seafood. So uh, our capacity is uh, frozen one day is uh, 3,000, uh, 30 ton per day. We pack and process to export. Monthly, we export uh, 20, around 20 to 25 con uh, containers cargo to uh, ship to China and other countries. Gawadar, uh, yes, this is our first time we are uh, attending the expo. Yes, in uh, this uh, he went. Actually, this is in Gawadar, this is the first expo. This is the first expo in Gawadar. So we are feeling very good because the combination of uh, Gawadar and uh, Pakistan and uh, China. So we appreciate China to come and uh, work together friendly with Pakistan. It's very good. Of course, a very big change because the port is, uh, you can say, all lots of uh, people from, I'm talking about the local people, they have their own work. They work together with uh, the, uh, uh, the port. So the jobs, a lot of opportunities of people to get the job. It's very easily. It's a very good opportunity for the uh, uh, to direction to reach the supermarket and international market through Gawadar port. Because now we are shipping to our conti uh, containers and cargo to Karachi, then departed to other countries. Now it's very easy, then we defer to Gawadar, direct to ship to other countries. It's very easy way. Yeah, actually the time, time we not take the more times. It's times time very time. short. Yes, of course, the reach to the, the Afghanistan and Middle East and China is very short, uh, you can say, the, the very easy way yeah. for direct to the shipment and uh, goods, each and everything. Yes, Shanghai, Shenzhen is very, you can say, the, the, the length, this length is very w too short. Yes. yes, we actually, we take in uh, 25 to 28 days from, uh, per reach to the uh, destination, uh, destination port. Now, is in this way, only we take uh, if this uh, the start, then we take only one, 10 days to reach the Shanghai, yeah. so the other place of China. It's very short. Okay. Yes, so uh, big opportunity, you can say. Go other ports in the future, we, we hope, uh, you can say, the, uh, in the future, it will be better for Pakistan and go other peoples and all Balochistan people and China as well. All right. Thank you for that uh, interview as well. Ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. You just uh, had an inside look at the new free zone at Pakistan's port of Gwadar brought to you by Xinhua Live. 
A big thank you to our correspondent on the scene, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to us on YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter. We'll see you all next time.